Hey everybody, I'm Lisa Ann Spencer. Thanks for stopping by my channel. Today is my second Hashtag Friday Sews. I'm very excited still to be participating in this Hashtag um, Friday Sews group because it has really motivated me to get some things done in my sewing room, which I pointed out last week is my closet. So it was a really a mess last week and I've spent some time putting it back in order. I went through my big pile of backlog sewing projects and um, especially had a big stack of jeans, like 24, 25 pairs of jeans that honestly some were um, about 15 years old. Um, not that they've sat there that long, of course, because some of those jeans we wore for several years. But anyway, I did get those cut into strips, and I got um, quite a few projects that were buried down under there, brought to the top. And I was able to make room to bring my grandmother's old sewing machine cabinet uh, down here so that I could um, keep my serger out. So I'll show you a close-up of that. Her machine is in there and um, I have not even tried sewing on it yet, but I may do that in the course of um, filming these videos. So I was able to make room, bring that, so now I can leave my serger out full-time and I have a place to sit and I, can, I don't have to switch back and forth from my machine to my serger. So that was a great accomplishment over this last week. So let me give you a close-up of that. So here's my machine as usual. And there's the work basket and you can see it's very empty. So I've got a few things in there that I can work on. Here in between the machines, this is um, my husband's grandmother's old sewing box or sewing table. I think that's what they were called. And I'm actually able to put it to use for what it's intended for. I've got my tins under there that have my thread and sewing notions. And I got a jar of buttons and I've got my sewing kit, my pin cushions and some thread. Not sure if you can see that. And then here's Grandma's old sewing machine case with the sewing machine in it and the serger is set up and ready to go. So that's really nice to just be able to go back and forth. So while I'm sitting here this week, what I want to do is show you a couple of these smaller projects that I'll be working on in videos to come. At Christmas, I made a video on making these, um, what are they, dish towel things that you can hang on your stove handle. Um, so I just go to Dollar Tree and buy the little dollar pot holders and dollar dish towels. They don't last a long time, but they're just nice little gifts to have to be able to give or to decorate your house with. I have a video on this that I'll link below. And while I'm talking about linking, I'll go ahead and mention here that um, Hashtag Friday Sews is created by Jen's Sewing Room. So be sure to check out that link below and check out those her channel. So here's a couple things that I have picked up at um, Dollar Tree last time I went. So, you know, little summertime colors. Um, the pot holder is solid on one side, so I'm able to take those, fold them in half, and make the little hangers. So I've got a few of these that I'm going to work on, and here's another one. Um, Morning Coffee, my true friend, and again, real pretty colors. So I'm going to make those up so I have those available for myself and also gifts to give away. And I showed you the t-shirts last week. These are my daughter's, her horse shirts. I don't have pillow inserts yet, but that's on my list of things to do. I'll make a couple of throw pillows for her bed. And also someone gave us a couple of western shirts. So here's one that has horses and a barn on it. Those would make a nice throw pillow. And 
find another one that's American flag and horses, barrel racing. So I have never made a pillow from a button-up shirt before, but I know that there's tutorials out there, so I'll probably be searching for that, and then I'll share it with you when I'm done. Here is a couple of the old um, dish towel hangers that I've made, and they're faded, so I like to undo them, rescue the buttons off of them to reuse, and I just use these in the kitchen for a while and then discard them. But the pot holders last a lot longer so I can reuse those for a future project. So I'm gonna be tearing those out soon. I have a gown that I made my daughter from an old set of sheets and because they were so soft, it was a really high thread count and um, then it ripped so I have this slated on my list to make a repair here. And if this is too small for her now, I have another sheet and she loves it so much, I'll probably just go ahead and make her another one. And let's see, oh yeah. Here's a project that I started long ago. It is taking a feed bag, this is chicken feed, and making a tote out of it. So I had gotten started on my old machine and the needle broke and I quit. There's the handles cut out already, pinned and ready to be sewn, but it makes a heavy duty tote that you can use for groceries or carrying stuff back and forth to church or whatever. It's actually very clean. I can't remember if I washed it out or just let it sit out in the sun, but it doesn't smell like chicken feed. Uh, but anyway, that's a cool project that I'm gonna get back to and finish that one day. All right, so these are not what I'm working on today. What I'm gonna work on today is, I have this giant roll of 60 inch, I think, fabric that I bought before I had children. <laughs> that would be you know, at least 26 years ago. I have moved this with me. I have thought about donating it to Goodwill and I just couldn't bring myself to do it. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to make some curtain panels out of this, some uh, for my daughter's bedroom window. Uh, she needs uh, blackout curtains and these are pretty thick. Right now all she has is blinds. So I'm going to measure these out. So um, ever how many panels that I'm able to sew out of this bolt. And also I'm going to hang one up here so that when I'm doing these hashtag Friday sews, you do not have to look at all this clutter of my clothing. It's very distracting. So I want a nice backdrop to make my hashtag Friday sew look a little bit more pleasing. All right. The first thing I'm gonna do is measure, I think it's, um, well, I want 92 inches finished, and I want a little extra at the top to overlap and do a rod pocket. So I'm gonna get started on that right now. Okay, I got four panels cut. I got the top fold pressed and pinned on all four panels. So the next thing that I'm going to do is on my serger, I'm gonna just finish, I'm gonna serge the edge here and on the bottom. And then when I'm finished with that, I'll use my sewing machine and I will make a top border and a rod pocket and a hem at the bottom. I won't hem the bottom of the draperies until I have all that done. And um, we'll see how that goes. So it's Wednesday night when I'm filming this and my husband's on his way home and we're about to head to church. So I probably won't get to work on this till tomorrow, but I plan to finish it up and post it for Friday 
um, hashtag Friday Sews, and maybe even get to hang them up back here and show you what they look like. Thank you so much for joining me. Please be sure to check out the links below to Jen's sewing room and click on hashtag Friday Sews. See you next time. Thank you.